One of my favorite views to shoot in a woodland area is pointing straight up the branches until they converge at a point in the middle of your picture. It works best with very, very wide angle lenses. So set your phone to its widest view and then point it up and see how it looks. Now, I like that just as a photo. However, I'm gonna try something a bit different here and film it as video. Now, if you've got a nice breezy day, like I have today, you could just simply hold the composition fairly static and let the branches sway a little bit to and forth. But I'm gonna actually introduce some motion of my own to really focus your attention on the middle. And the way I'm gonna do that is to point the camera straight up and film video as I rotate it. And that, if I get the angles just right, is gonna really draw your attention into the middle of the frame. The first thing is to make sure your camera is at the right angle. And by that, I mean, I want it to be completely flat so that when I rotate, I can keep one point right in the middle. Now it's never gonna be perfectly in the middle if you're doing it by hand, but the straighter you have the camera, the better. So I'm gonna try and rotate around this branch in the middle. I sort of see a group, a dark patch. It doesn't matter what it is, so long as I keep that roughly in the middle. I start recording video. And because I can just crop this later on, I'm just gonna go back and forth until I find a bit that I like. And as I get more confident, I'll do bigger sweeping arcs. Because the idea is, is to try and find maybe a four or five second segment, which looks pretty good. That's looking quite nice now. And if the sun comes out, you can get some really nice flaring effects from it. So embrace the sun. But remember to try and find a composition where those branches are all converging above you focusing on a point in the middle. And then when you're happy with your footage, stop recording and it's time to edit it. So now it's a case of playing it back in some editing software. This is just the Photos app and choosing a segment that I like. Now, when I first started filming this, I was a little bit cautious at first. You can see the motion wasn't that great, but as the clip plays out, those motions grew longer and longer, which is what I'm after. And in fact, I would say about there onwards is going to be fine. So I'm going to drag this slider in. I can always edit this more later on. I can also change the speed. But one of the most important steps here is that I want to change the aspect ratio. And that is in this crop section. You see, I could post it wide on Instagram, but I want it to be a nice square crop. So here's my final clip. I've topped and tailed it to just show the segment that I was after. And I've cropped into the square shape for that maximum impact on Instagram. And when you do post a video like this on Instagram, you may wish to turn the sound off in case you didn't have nice peaceful bird song while you're recording. It was a little bit noisy when I recorded this, so I'm gonna post it without any sound. Mm -hmm.